All right, and welcome back to the uh, Mead Tournament of 2020. So I'm really excited to do this. This is the finals. We have the grand finals, of course, after this. We were breaking down the um, final four of this tournament. What we currently have, you can see the board here, is um, a, uh, I'll put, make sure to put all the numbers. Uh, or not numbers, the names of each thing, and what's been eliminated, what's still in play. Right now, we don't know what exactly is on the board. We have guessed pretty roughly what is what, but there's not a um, precise knowledge. So these are our four we currently have competing, what you're going to see today. And we're going to go ahead and get started with mead number 11 versus mead number 12. <laughs> All right, here is mead number 11 versus mead number 12. Let's start with mead number 11, guys. As we keep going, like, I'm confident, but I'm also not at all. This, I think, I think this is the raspberry, Boche. What? You? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Mm, I, I mean, maybe. This one was the one that I thought was the apple cinnamon mead. Yeah, and I don't think it's an apple cinnamon mead. No. I think it's a boche. Some kind of boche? I've got mine. I I don't know how many times I've called the apple pie boche out. I maybe a couple, but I think it might Wait. be that. No, you're right. You're, 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 I'm getting that now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I get it now. I think it's apple. No, pie. I can see that more. The spices. I don't know why yeah, it threw like, me off. The spices have like a had a fruity side to it to it that made me feel that way. No, it's definitely that apple pie. You're right, because I get more of the that um, cinnamon. Like there wouldn't be cinnamon in that raspberry. I got baking spice. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Kind of okay. reminds me of uh, banana bread. Just huh? the smell. Yeah, I know. I didn't get that. Mm -hmm. I like it. Um, it's not very smooth. I think the problem with this one, as we get further along, is awkward. the finish of it. It's a little bitey to me, like that. That. Um, There's some astringency bitterness to it. I don't. Find that. But, but the spices it's... are like almost not like too much, but they're just in your face yeah. for sure. Very forward. Yeah. I like it for sure. I think it's the finish, it's a little bit different. And this is where we get to be a little bit more nitpicky as to what, mm -hmm. you know. Because we get to hopefully the best of the best within these. Alright, let's try number 12 now. Okay, yep, I was wrong. What do you think this one is? I actually still think it's a mixed berry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I definitely mixed berry. Coming off that, that boche taste, I definitely had a moment where I, I mixed the boche and the, the berry, and I was like, that's a raspberry. <laughs> but now, like, just trying to, you know. I'm, I'm at a... I actually think the... If this is a mixed berry, I, I think the mixed berry is... Well, more balance, like all yep. the way through from start to finish. Um, it's even. It's, it's got a really nice texture, um, but I think the boche is more complex and just generally more interesting. I, this is what I love about this. This is where we get to the hard part. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta make a choice. Okay. Um, I, I actually don't. I the astringency at the end, I think, is kind of like just an interesting character. Yeah. Like, uh, of of the. Not oh, necessarily right. like the juice, track, yeah. yeah. No, I don't think it's attracting at all. No. Alright guys, mm. time to vote. I gotta one. take a second to like have a I <clears throat> No, you're gonna make me be the <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go with that because I think it's I just oh, think it's complex man. and interesting it and it's delicious. They're both really good though. I would be happy to drink either. It's also a little bit situational for me. Yeah, I it's think, true. I think I think that I, it is perfect that I'm the one to do this because if people scream at me, they're going to scream at me. <laughs> I think that the mixed berry has a more rounded body. Like, I would yeah. prefer to drink yeah. a whole glass of mixed berry as opposed to the apple pie boche. <laughs> I feel like the apple pie boche is more, it has more. It's stouter. It's more niche. Yeah, it's more yeah. stout. And you could have a. I, I'm just thinking in, in um, which one I want to drink more of. That's how I'm basing this. I know that's it's very situational because yeah, it depends on the time of night when you're drinking it, blah blah blah, all those things. But I gotta, I 
gotta do it. <laughs> we gotta do it. Sorry. I feel like I'm losing. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I lost. No, I, there's nothing wrong or bad about that. This is the hard part of it. Is is the vote? I think okay. Um, it, there we go. They're good. Okay, here we go. Let's uh, we're gonna fix the board a little bit. The mixed berry or number twelve, what we think is the mixed berry, is moving on. Unfortunately, the apple pie bouchet or number eleven um, has been knocked out. So we are now going to face number four versus number sixteen. <laughs> We're moving on to the last round of our finals, and then we get to our grand finals. This is number 16 versus number 11. Let's start with number 16. Is it 16 and 4 or 16 and 4? 16 and 4. Oh, I'm sorry. Four. I said 11. It's 4. I keep looking at my judge number for some reason. I still, I'm still a big fan of this. I like the heat on it. It's very, um... Well, okay, here's a question. What do you think the ABV on this is? They will know because mm -hmm. I'll have put this information in here. What do you think the ABV on this one is? I can't imagine it's very high. No, nothing more than 10. I want to say oh, like... wow, it's being generous. I, I would have said really? like... Yeah, I was going to say like 4, 5 to 6. Maybe like <laughs> 7, okay. like I, I think it, it may just be really balanced in. Because, I mean, that's the other factor of this is like... Mm -hmm. I don't really... I don't really have a way to like gauge it because you don't really see like any sort of you don't see I don't know you can't really see the alcohol like yeah. the legs on it I mean to like gauge how viscous it is but if I I think this one is at least a thirteen what <laughs> it is at least a thirteen percent it does not feel I get a little bit of alcohol sweetness on the finish but like it doesn't it's feel very, very alcoholic I, and that's me going off of information from. I mean, there's 16 meats here. I'm trying to remember all the information about what I put into them in their gravity. But I think this is that 13%. I'll make sure and put it on screen and for what it actually is. But it's a little higher. That's the, what's fascinating about this one is that it has, uh, it's, it's smooth. And it's really mm. kind of young. I think it's about a year old. Um, Interesting. Okay, let's uh, go on to number four now. This is a vastly <laughs> different meat. It's just the... <laughs> I, I, it's just the weird kind of candy sugar thing at the end. That yeah. yeah that, the, um, That's all it is. That's fake, fake sugar idea. Yeah. yeah. Like aspartame. You know what's interesting to me? Um, I have made this candy cane meat many different times. This last time I made it... But the first time I made it, I did 52 candy canes in a gallon of water. Then I did 216 candy canes in a bunch of water with honey. <laughs> this last time I made it, I did 600 peppermints. And it is, like, it's in the, that meat room right now, and it looks like Pepto-Bismol. Looks like you just poured Pepto-Bismol in a six-gallon oh, carboy. Geez. So there's a, a different color. Like, you, this thing looks like a mead. The one that I have right now does not look like a mead. No, not at all. It's tasty. So... Um, I, I think this one has some rounded characters, but this is hard because they're both really good. They're very different. Mm. We're going to vote differently this time. Um, I'm going to say one, two, three, and I want you to put down where, which one you choose instead of having us. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I like the peppermint. I just think it's more niche. If you were going to find something to drink all year round, you're going to probably go for the pineapple habanero. Yeah, I mean, I mean maybe. The, the, the peppermint is, is, is a seasonal thing. It is, yeah. Thing. That's, uh, that's what I mean. It's like those, those months, December, I, I you know, Christmas. I think the hab habanero pineapple is like a summertime yeah. type thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, know. that's surprising. Um, you know, if you pick the, uh, the uh, candy cane mead to win, peppermint mead to win, um, sorry, but... Moving on, <laughs> we have the uh, pineapple habanero, or number 16. Uh, that is the winner of this battle. We are now 
going to um, go into grand finals, but that is not this video. Here's what you need to do. You need to go check out the next video that's coming out. If you want to see the other side competition that happened with this with these guys, um, they uh, helped me to judge each one of these meads and give them scores for specific things. So if you want to go over check that out, there's going to be a video um, talking about how they scored each specific mead in each category. It might not line up with the results of this tournament, but I still find it kind of interesting. So thank you guys for watching. If you want to see the grand finals, go check it out. Um, yeah, see you guys next time.